right, this is great news here. A woman's center in downtown L.A. serving those who used to be homeless has reopened. The center is in a new building complete with the private bathrooms, a library, and a rooftop garden. KTLA's Wendy Birch is in downtown L.A. with more on that. Wendy. Hi, Frank and Michaela. You know it's a good day at KTLA when you get to report on good news. And this is a very, very good story. We're right here on Skid Row, but you would never know it because this is the new downtown women's center. This is not a shelter. No, this is a center. This is a center that changes women's lives. Do you know that there's about 14,000 homeless women living on the streets of Los Angeles? That's why this center is so very, very important. You're looking at the day center where they'll be serving thousands, uh, thousands of meals. And here's some video of what this looks like outside. You See, this used to be an old shoe factory dating back to the 1920s. Well, the city sold it to the Downtown Women's Center for $1. And then they fundraised $26 million more, and they built this beautiful, beautiful center. It is complete with a learning center, with a computer lab, with community centers. You know what I love about this place, too? This is what makes it so remarkable. There are 71 apartments. There are 71 individual apartments that give these homeless women a real place to call home. Uh, they have beautiful views, they have their own kitchen, they have their own microwave, and you gotta come back out because here's some of the women that will be calling this center home. Hi, you guys, how are you doing? Pretty good. Okay, so here's the deal. We just walked through one of the rooms and we saw it for the first time. We yes, saw some video of what the rooms looked like. What did you think? Ah, uh, I'm in awe, it's beautiful. It is just so beautiful, it's a godsend. What a difference. And for you, when you saw that room, I mean, this makes such a difference. I mean, I can't even imagine what it would be like to live on the streets and to be able to come into here. It's life-changing, isn't it? It is very life-changing, and the rooms are spectacular. Everything is brand new and very uh, design-coordinated. Yeah, it's very, so, very nice. I have to say something, too, if you'll give me just one minute to brag a little bit about uh, my colleagues. We did a book drive for your new library, and I think we have some video of it right now. This is called the uh, Good News Lending Library Program. We donated about 2,000 books, all from the television journalists uh, around Los Angeles. KTLA donated about 500 of them. And what was ironic, too, is how many self-help books we all had to donate. Wow. <laughs> Apparently, nice. we had stashes of those. Um, one thing about this center that is so remarkable is that uh, we talk about giving a real sense of home for these women, a real place to live. You have your own address, you have your own mailboxes, and this is the way you change your life, right? It's a start. It's a start. All right. Well, best of luck with that Thank start, okay? Thank you so much. You know what? Coming up at 10, the women are going to walk from the old center, which they will soon start rehabbing. There's going to be a big kind of like Mardi Gras parade, and we're going to come down here. Do you ladies know you'll be walking a red carpet? Did you, are you ready for that? Yeah. Oh, I, I know they are. I know they're ready. Uh, the Downtown Women's Center, if you're ever looking for a great place to volunteer, come down here. I, I've done it a number of times, and it will change your life as well. That's the very latest from Skid Row, although you'd never know it. <laughs> we'll send to you guys. Thanks so much, place, Wendy. Wendy. You know, there's, well there's been a movement down on so Skid Row to rename it and get rid of that moniker. Yeah call it Hope Central, and I kind of like that, mm. yeah, because the fact is there are great things going on. There's so many people, the missions, uh, the centers like that, that are trying to get people back on their feet and yep. back out on, on the job force, et cetera. Yeah, Skid Row just sounds horrible. It does, yeah. yeah. Self-fulfilling prophecy almost, you know? Yeah. All right, Henry. Women who used to be homeless have a new place to call home this morning. The Downtown Women's Center has relocated to a new building on South San Pedro Street in the Skid Row area. There are 71 studio apartments with private bathrooms and kitchenettes. The center's library has 2,000 new books thanks to the Good News Foundation's Lending Library program. 500 of those books were donated by folks right here at KTLA. Who's and all In high definition, this is KCAL 9 News at 2. All right, Guy, thanks. Thousands of women living on Skid Row are getting a second chance now. A new women's center opened today in downtown Los Angeles. KCAL 9's Gara Finstrom shows us how that center is going to help women in need. In the heart of Skid Row, dozens of women paraded in what Fannie Mayfield called a four-block dance of joy to their new home. Everybody just loves us straight from their hearts. No strings attached, and that's what we love here. 57-year-old Mayfield came to the original downtown women's center 13 years ago. I was an addict, and um, the, the struggle was I had to be clean and sober before I could even do anything. I had to first love myself. 
Today she marched with supporters, including our own Pat Harvey, from that old center to the new. A fully restored, beautiful, historic building, twice the size of the original. A place that they can come and have a warm bed, a healthy meal, health care, mental health care, job training. There is also a huge library and both a daybed facility here and 71 private apartments. Mayfield is applying to live in one. I have a new here. job. She says just a few and months ago, know. with the help of the staff here, she went back to work, landing a job in maintenance. So today's celebration, she says, feels like a warm welcome home after a long, difficult journey. When you become homeless, it, it can really be um, disheartening. You can lose uh, your sense of self-confidence, your sense of self-worth, and that's what we really seek to restore in them. We remind them that they are valued individuals. This is totally, totally awesome. I'm crying because we waited for this five long years. And Mayfield is just one of the 3,500 women that the Downtown Women's Center hopes to serve this year. In downtown Los Angeles, Cara Finstrom, KCAL 9 News. Well, all's well that ends well, but for folks on board a cruise ship, it Live from NBC4, this is the Channel 4 News. Oh, we love this story. An old shoe factory from the 1920s is the new home of the Downtown Women's Center for Homeless Women on Skid Row. To celebrate the grand opening today on San Pedro Street, homeless women and volunteers danced a Brazilian samba before the dedication by Councilwoman Jan Perry and Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa. Our very own Anna Garcia, you saw her right there on the left hand of your screen, also a volunteer there, part of the parade and celebration today. The center bought the building from the city for $1. It has the first full-time medical clinic for homeless women, 70 apartments and a kitchen so big they can now feed twice as many women. And Anna, you've been working very hard to make this basically a reality. Me and thousands of other people, really. I mean, because the volunteers are so many of them. When I say thousands, it's like everyone gives in their own way. So if you've been watching here and following me on Twitter and on Facebook, then you know that I've been documenting the community effort to build the center. Tonight, I want to show you the library that the TV News Women of Los Angeles built through the Good News Foundation, which I'm on the board of. We did a book drive at all the TV stations last month, and this is what we came up with. Apparently, we have a lot of voracious readers in that station. Oh my gosh, look at all your stuff! An army bag. Oh stuff. my god. All for a good cause. <laughs> look at that. All the television um, stations came together. Is there a Good News Foundation? It's made up of um, women okay, leaders in oh. the news industry. And so they've been a big sponsor of ours. And all so the, this all is, the, all the uh, newscasters and yes. women. Oh, you know, Far as their trunk. I know all. What section are you working on? Uh, we're doing the um, paperbacks right now. Okay. Okay. Nice and light on the top. Oh, I want to read this book. <laughs> What do you got, Chris? Facebook effect. I want to read this. See, they go right inside the Cloris Leachman autobiography. Da, 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 da. Everyone loves a good book. Enjoy this one as you start a new chapter in your life. A basket of reading glasses for anyone who needs them. They'll always be here. All of this donated by the Good News Foundation and the TV News Women of Los Angeles. We collected about 2,000 books, and I want to thank all of the women here at NBCLA and at all the TV stations who helped fill those shelves. Fritzer, was that not highly impressive? Her group, that's just a, that's the latest thing. You, oh, they've, they've done so many wonderful things. Wonderful job. Really. Thank you. I want to show you some wind advisories. Thanks, guys. All right. All right. From homeless to Haven, a shelter for formerly homeless women has reopened in a new facility in downtown Los Angeles. KTLA's Cheryl Gatuiza has a look. Welcome home, sisters. Yeah. Out with the 
old and in with the new. Residents living in the old downtown women's center marched to their new homes. KTLA's own Lou Parker and Wendy Birch were a part of the ceremonies in true Hollywood style. A red carpet rolled out for the residents of the new downtown women's center off South San Pedro Street in Skid Row. Resident Sophia Russell says today is a dream come true. I can't find the words it's compared to where we live now. It's like moving from a shack into a mansion. This building, is, it just takes your breath away. Sophia Russell lost her home to foreclosure. She's been a resident of the Downtown Women's Center at the original location on Los Angeles Street for 10 years. The center's new home is in a renovated former shoe factory. It's twice the size of the original with so many amenities, including 71 units each with their own bathroom and kitchenette. The library with uh, uh, many books that were donated. There's an exercise room. There's two jacuzzis on two floors. Uh, there's two laundromats. Uh, there's a quiet room. The average age of the women living at this facility is 55, and most of them have mental illnesses of some degree. And at this new facility, they'll have mental and medical care on site seven days a week. Most of us are fortunate enough to have family members to provide that support when they have that mental illness. But some of us are less fortunate and don't have that support and really need the support of others. So the support of services helps women with mental illness to really get those services. 14 months and $26 million later, a new place to continue helping the thousands of women who drop by the DWC every year. Everyone deserves a home. Everyone deserves a place to sleep, a place to have a nutritious meal, a place to be safe. I don't think you can just throw them in the street and say, take care of yourself because it doesn't work like that. Rent for residents is a third of their income. For many, that comes from disability or welfare. Move-in day is next week. Reporting from Skid Row, Cheryl Gatwiza, KTLA 5 News. Now, this is Fox News at 11. A grand celebration downtown as some Skid Row women get a new home. These formerly homeless women had plenty to celebrate during their Mardi Gras-inspired procession. The residents of the Downtown Women's Center, which has moved to a new bigger and better location, the new building located on South San Pedro, is twice the size of the original location a few blocks away. The DWC is the only center downtown that caters exclusively to women. It has the first women's medical clinic on Skid Row and lots of other support and services. And Carlos, you know the Good News Foundation built the library. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. All right, holiday tradition.